All right, so we're going to start by talking about delta Y now. Delta Y means change in Y. We saw this notation back when we were looking at the definition of a derivative. And so delta Y here, say I'm starting at the point at X equals C, so I change my X coordinate, so it'll be C plus delta X minus F of C. So I'm measuring the difference in these two Y values that I get. Now we just saw in our last video when delta X is small, so when I'm really close to my point, f of x is approximately the same as the tangent line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace c plus delta x in place of x in the tangent line equation. So remember, our tangent line equation was y equals f prime of x, uh, sorry, f prime of c, x minus c plus f of c, and now we're going to replace x by c plus delta x here. So I'll get y equals f prime of c, c plus delta x minus c, and now this c and this minus c cancel, so y is f prime of c times delta x plus f of c. So this means, so delta y is approximately, now it's approximate because we're using our tangent line here, it's approximately f prime of c delta x plus f of c minus f of c. So what does this tell us, i.e. delta y is approximately, if you notice this f of c and minus f of c cancel, it's approximately f prime of c times delta x. So my change in y, it's approximately the slope of my tangent line times how much my x uh, changed. So what we're going to do now is we're going to replace delta x by dx, which is called the differential of x, and we're going to replace delta y by dy, and that's called the differential of y. So we get this equation now, dy is equal to f prime of c dx. And this is our differential. All right, so let's look at an example. Let's let y equal x squared, and I want to find dy when x equals 1 and dx equals 0 0.01. And then I also want to compare this value with delta y for x equals 1 and delta x equals 0 
All right, so remember that dy, it's f prime of x dx. So here, what's the derivative of my function? If I look back, my function was x squared. The derivative would be 2x. So dy is 2x dx. And now we're going to plug in. We were told that x equals 1 and dx is 0 0.01. So we're going to plug both of those in to find dy now. dy will be 2 times 1 times 0 0.01. So dy is 0 0.02. So we've done half of what was asked for us. We were asked to find dy, which we did find, but now we were asked to find delta y. So delta y, it's f of x plus delta x minus f of x. So delta y, remember here, x is 1. Delta x, we were told, is 0 0.01. So here I'm getting f of 1.01 .01 minus f of 1. So delta y will be 1.01 .01 squared minus 1 squared. And if you get out a calculator to compute this, delta y will be 0 0.0201. So the actual change in my function was 0 0.0201 and we approximated it with this dy here 0 0.02 so you'll see that we were pretty close we were correct up to two decimal places well really three I guess up to three decimal places so it, it's a pretty good estimate for the change in my function